Good morning, friends and families. Buenos dias, amigos y familias. Esta mañana voy a leer un libro en inglés. Th this morning, I am going to read a very important and new book in English. And this book is called The Anti-Racist Baby. And it's really important at a time like right now. This book reminds us that we need to celebrate all of our differences, use our words to talk about racism, and to understand that people aren't the problem, that policies are the problem. And this book is called The Anti-Racist Baby. And it's by a very smart man named Ib Ibram Kindi. Ibram Kindi. Anti-racist baby is bred, not born. Anti-racist baby is raised to make society transform. He's out with his daddy protesting or standing up for what he thinks is true. Babies are taught to be racist or anti-racist. There's no neutrality. Take these nine steps to make equity a reality. One, first thing you can do, open your eyes to all skin colors. Anti-racist baby learns all the colors, not because race is true. If you claim to be colorblind, you deny what's right in front of you. There are people of so many different colors and we should notice that because those differences are pretty amazing. Number two, use your words to talk about race. No one will see racism if we only stay silent. If we don't name racism, it won't stop being so violent. Number three, Point at policies as the problem, not people. Some people get more while others get less because policies don't always grant equal access. Number four, shout, there's nothing wrong with the people. Even though all races are not treated the same, we are all human, anti-racist baby can proclaim. Look at all these different families, all beautiful and colorful in their own ways. Number five, celebrate all our differences. Anti-racist baby doesn't see certain groups as better or worse. Anti-racist baby loves a world that's truly diverse. All the friends are playing together Number six, knock down the stack of cultural blocks. Anti-racist baby appreciates how groups speak, dance, and create as they choose. Anti-racist baby welcomes all groups voicing their unique views. Number seven, confess when being racist. Nothing disrupts racism more than when we confessed the racist ideas that we sometimes express. If something comes out of your mouth and then you think, oh my gosh, that wasn't very kind and it was racist. It's okay to change the way you said it or say it differently. Number eight, grow to be an anti-racist. Anti-racist baby is always learning, changing, and growing. Anti-racist baby stays curious about all people and isn't all-knowing. Baby is always looking around at people and asking questions and playing together. Number nine, believe that we shall overcome racism. Anti-racist baby is filled with the power to transcend, my friend, and doesn't judge a book by its cover, but reads until the end.
the anti-racist baby. This is a reminder that we should celebrate all of our differences, that we should use our words to talk about racism, and we should understand that people aren't necessarily the problems, but the, the policies that our government puts in place is mostly what the problem is. And as parents and as caregivers and as older adults in people's lives, we are the ones that can influence how our babies and how our children think about the world around them and the people that come into their lives. Can you tell me about what you've learned from this book? Or can you tell me what this book makes you think of? Talk to you soon. Happy Friday.